Morning! Hello doggies. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life at our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Um, a little bit later, either, I'm not sure if it's going to be me or my dad, we're going down into Lincolnshire where it's flooded completely and we're having to navigate um, a lot of roadblocks to get there. We're on it in the 130. I'm gonna say she's not putting white smoke out, but she is. She is. She is regenerating a little bit. So I'm in the daft. We'll get this backed up, loaded up, and then I believe my dad is gonna take these so we can get a few bits done here at the farm. Right. So my dad's gonna take them. We'll jump on the two. No, we don't want to jump on the two ten. Everybody knows that. We'll jump on the TM. It's a bit cloudy. So it's a little bit cold though. I know I said it's not as cold as I expected, but it is still, it's a bit cold. So I'm feeding out these. I've already strawed them up. And happy days. I've got plenty to eat now. So we've got a tractor coming round. I think it's going to be Ralph. Here he comes. Nice. Look at that, a beastie class. Ooh. Yeah, boy. So Ralph's going to go and pick up one of our trailers, straw trailers. We're going to fetch some straw back here. Um, it's been used as a fodder beet, sugar beet clump. Sugar beet clump. Nice track to that, I like it. Right, we'll get some fuel, put in the TM, and we record all the hours and the fuel and the date, so we can see how much we're using uh, on each machine. I think, seeing as Ralph's fetching some straw with some wet bales, we will just straw up inside these pens and then we'll chuck some wet bales on the outside. We're getting plenty blasted in here. For these guys, it's really strong. I got quite a few guesses yesterday on the price of my Audi S3 car insurance, 5,000 miles. Everybody's car insurance is going through the roof, isn't it? Like, literally through the roof. I think last year I paid about 400 quid, something like that. So like my renewal quote was ridiculous, that was like nearly 800 quid. So I had a look on U-Switch, because normally I use Compare the Market, but anyway, went on U-Switch, a lot cheaper. Two, well, I didn't go for the lowest price, £285 what I went for, but I could get it for 265 quid on an Audi S3. Either I'm getting really old and boring, um, or that's very, very cheap. I was just like, right, okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna look anywhere else because I'm pretty sure I can't find it cheaper than that. Um, so yeah, nobody guessed that low. And yeah, it surprised me. So I'm just sure it will surprise you guys too. So shop around and uh, I'm sure you can get a good deal somewhere. Yep, it was with the RAC. Um, that's what I've gone with. And it's five star de facto rated or whatever. The other one, the cheap one at 265 is only like three stars. So you know what? For another 20 quid, we'll go five star. Yeah, living, uh, living it up, living it up with the insurance world. We've got a big load of barley here on a very clean class. Very nice. Yeah, it's gleaming. All the classes in the yard today, aren't we? We're going to be a busy, busy day of class tractors. It's all coming out in the dust. So we got the other class back in the yard. Ralph's just taking the straps off and we'll get the bales stuck off. Well, that's all I'm done. Oh, Ralph's just gone. And now I've got the job of starting the nine meter. 
Lovely job there. It must have got cold. Okay, that JCB won't start it. Oh, it might have done if I left it on, but I know this 130 does it every time, so we'll uh, we'll try this if we can get it in. That is, it's a bit difficult in this area. And we get the 130 on it, and she starts. What a boost! And we've got tarmac here as well from the big sucker. But we're concentrated on coffee time. Right, we might be getting a bit of barley today, so we've got to start this one. Oh, thank goodness. It's not the same at 6'9", though, is it? No. Right, I've just pulled out there, out of the way, left it running, because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want it not starting. Um, and we got pre-mix chipped out on the floor. Uh, Silage bailing way, but we need to get that. Right, so I think I'm going to try and bend that bracket back with some Stilsons or something because it's throwing pipes off a fair bit. Give it a go. So I've got this on and it's coming back a lot better than I expected. I didn't think I'd be able to get anything on it, but I can. So I think if we left it, we'd end up ripping something else off because pipes would be going wrong direction. Yeah that'll do, back straight now. Uh, Connor's just dropping off the mill. I'm gonna put a trailer on and take a little bit of muck out today. So we'll uh, get this pushed up because we've got quite a few loads coming today. And, uh, and then we'll get a bit of mucking out done. Here we go, Ralph's going back. I've, I've not rejected them two bales, I just want some uh, some nice ones to take back. So he's gonna get them strapped up and uh, get on his way. I'm gonna have my dinner. We have another load just being dropped off. So he's getting some muck out of the big shed now. Nearly got a load. Right, I'm gonna take this uh, load of muck and then I can see how much muck we've got down at our muck site. Well, I was going to put a time lapse on going down the road, but I can't remember where I've put my sucker, my little mount thing that goes on the window. So, um, yeah, we're not going to get that. We'll just, uh, we'll get down there, eh? So, nobody's parked. A bit of fly tipping on the left hand side, but uh, I've got the Hoover. Nice. And uh, yeah, I'll have a look down here. This looks uh, very wet. The river's quite high. And uh, this will be probably put in with maize in the spring. As long as we can get onto it, because at the minute it's a bit of a pond. Same at that side, a bit of a pond. And this space is great, it used to be an old pit yard and a uh, great place to tip muck, especially when it's wet. Because um, there's just so much concrete, I think there's about three acre of concrete here. It's fantastic. Oh, we'll get it lifted up and tipped. There'll be a nice amount of muck to go on these fields down here. Start going forward a bit. And that's it, we're there. There's no worries of wheels sinking in and trailers tippling over. It's all easy going. Yeah, she looks a beast there, doesn't she? I know I keep going on about it, I didn't think I'd like it that much, but I do think that makes it look cool. It's not quite Ollie's one that says oversized at the front, nah, it does look really cool, but it, it's, it's close to it. Another classing yard! 
What a class filled day, eh? And now another class! A big class. Right, so we'll get these uh, straw off and we're gonna end up with quite a stack of crappy bales. And another class! We're um, classed out today, definitely. Should we swap to them? Should the JCB go and change colour? Change to a different colour? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We like his, we like his John Deere's. Um, I need to push this up though um, so that he can tip his load off. I'm going to use this machine. Should start now. It's been running for a long time. Because um, it's got clean wheels. So I'm not going to fetch that muck from the mucking out and be putting that into the pile. Get, get pushing, get the grain pusher up. The class Axion 810. Not very old either. That's fancy, isn't it? With the um, the weight block and then a the little light toolbox on that side. I like that. I'm guessing all the wheels must come ready for tyre inflation. That's what I'm guessing they be the gold for. I don't know, I might be wrong. Hums nicely, does that tractor? I'm getting weighed off. Pipe's either gone or come loose here. I'm hoping it's just, oh, it might just be loose, we might be in luck. Yeah, we're in luck, it's just loose, so we'll get that tightened back up and then hopefully we'll be right. I have, however, got oil all over the windscreen again, so we'll have to wash that off. So it's pushing up a bit more of the barley. I think we've had his last load of today. We'll get that pushed up there. We've got as much room as we can in the shed. So last load of straw here. So we'll have fun putting these out over the next week or so. The wet bales, we put a few extra in. But it, uh, it all helps the job along. It's a biodegradable storage solution, should we say, um, for making a clamp for fodder beet. What could be more environmental than using bales instead of concrete that releases loads of uh, nasties into the atmosphere? We have such ecological farmers around our, our parts, you know. Right, so that's the last class in the yard today. We had an 870, an 810, and then I'm not sure what the other one was. Somebody will probably let me know in the comments. Today's mixer mention is Bruce Wilson, aka Limey, um, on YouTube. Now, he's helped us raise, or whoever's donated has helped us raise some money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. So thank you very much, Bruce, or whoever's donated in Bruce's. Um, for Bruce's mention, oh, I'm not losing, but I'm losing my mind of track of things here. But we've raised over £7,600 um, for Yorkshire Air Ambulance, which has been fantastic. Sorry, I've not wrote it on. I've got my pen, but I've not got the cleaner to clean the names off of the sign. So that's why Bruce's um, thing will be Bruce's name Bruce's is floating about in space up here. I think it was the British Farming Awards, so I'm sure Bruce was up for an award. If I'm not mistaken contractor of the year but let me know in comments if that's right um i think oh uh, yeah i've just been racking my brains and that's where it is anyway we'll put it in number last in. so we're getting some of these horrible bales and gonna put them in the outside where we've been getting a bit of muck out from today i'll smash them about with the jcb and then uh, let the cows do the rest or do their worst Ben's just tipped off the mix. We're going to refill it, I believe. Ben's just filling the mix up. Grabbing out the silage. And we're just going to feed one of the pens over down here. He's moaning about doing these free mixes, our Ben. It's not very good. Um, Handling it back into the mixer, there's probably had about five buckets full. I can't believe there must have only been about three. 
right, this is about done. Probably just a little bit more needed here. But Lauren is here to cut my hair. So I'll leave these guys to it. Just getting the mix done and finishing off the last few bits. It's only be about five, 10 minutes. And this will get cut back. It's looking a mess, isn't it? Under me hat, hat hair today. Thanks, Lauren. There, it's cut shorter, but the hat's going on because it's cold. I can't get it on one hand. No, maybe I can. There we go, business. So, the 215's getting put away. Everything's done. So, that is everything put away in the shed. I've opened up the battery box on the 9 meter so that we can get it started easy in the morning. <laughs> Much easier if we just started, but you know what? That's the way it is. Um, Thank you so much for everyone's positive comments um, recently. Really does mean a lot to just click through them and read them and see that there's people wishing as well all the time. It's yeah, it, it, make, it makes a difference to my day basically, and I just wanted to say thank you very much to everyone because like things can get hard when you're farming, and to see people like have got your back is is is. is Thank you very much. Thanks, um, thanks everyone for that. Um, if you've liked today's video, always, as always, press like and subscribe. If you want the merchandise, we've got hoodies and um, t-shirts and bits and bobs like that in stock. So head over to joeseals.com. And also, if you are looking for an opportunity to work on our farm, please, please email the um, the email address that's in the link in the description below, which is joeseals.jobs at outlook dot com so thanks for watching guys and we will see you in tomorrow's video no doubt we'll see you later bye bye